Welcome to Launch with Washington Community College. Today we have our first ever guest in our first ever segment, the President, Dr. Belanca. So Dr. Belanca, thank you so much for being here today. So you're in your 11th year then at Washtenaw. So you're starting your second decade. Yes. So how did the first decade go? Great. Um, there was a lot of, explore. first of all, this is the most tremendous community. They are very supportive. Um, and walking in here the first 10 years, I had a lot to learn about the community, the college, our students. But during those 10 years, because of the people that I work with and for our community I serve, we were able to come up with very innovative programs. Okay. So the first 10 years obviously are different than the 10 years now coming up. And right now in the job market, we hear all about jobs where you can start out at, you know, $15 an hour with no education needed. And some might even be higher than that, you know, around the $20. So why, why WCC? Why come to Washington Community College? You know, that is um, a very good question because I'm sure that is on every person's mind when they're making this type of decision. But when you look at that goal of making the 18, the $20 an hour, you realize that that's it. That $20 an hour, depending on where it's at, is putting you now on a track of, it, it's a set track that's that it. you're not controlling. Yeah. The, you're not controlling that track. The employer's controlling that track. You come to a community college, and um, what happens is you can, um, according to the Detroit Chamber of Commerce, the Workforce in Intelligence Network, all the research they've done, a student that graduates from a community college with a two-year degree can make $76,000. And I'll, I'd like to just share an example with you. I would love to hear we one. We just had a student. Well, his love of welding ended him up with a job that paid him $40 an hour and $80,000 a year. That's huge. That's Isn't it? Way better than... Well, wait. Eight, but wait. This young man is beginning a journey. $80,000 a year. He's beginning a journey. Now, if it's that same young man, which he does want to, wanted to continue his education... Look what he's bouncing off of. Yeah. And he's right now, if he wanted to go to a four-year university, of which is great, you know, all of his experience are transferable. Oh, my gosh. He would uh, be done in no time and save thousands of dollars. Well, it's like what you said, you know, it's starting here at $20 versus he's starting already at here with just room to grow. So, yeah, go ahead and take it. But you know, there are 24 hours in a day, and we are here. We offer classes online. We offer classes, you know, face-to-face. -face. We offer hybrid classes. So, you know, I don't want anyone to feel discouraged because maybe they chose that pathway. That's okay because when we become partners, we can take you even higher than where you started. You can get off the highway. You can go work a little while. You can do whatever it is you want. Take your detours. You can, yeah. Get off. Yeah. You can get back on. All of a sudden, take the next phase, wherever that's at, continue to, you know, develop and grow. You know, then that's kind of like my life with a community college. Because I started at a community college. I am a community college graduate. I'm proud of it. And I did transfer to a four-year university. I became a teacher. My dream came true. We'll be right back with more of Dr. Belanca's interview shortly.
Welcome back to WCC Launch. What I loved what you just said was how uh, it's like you're a highway and where you can get on and get off. And, you know, so take that $20 an hour job because, you know, you have, you have to have a job, you have to afford things, but also come to Washtenaw. And I think that's one of your founding things, as you said, was flexibility is why students should come here. There's a number of them, but flexibility was a big one, right? Our average age here is 28. All of our programs focus on the needs of the students, the wants of the students, and plus, what I'm very, very proud of is that our faculty are teachers, and they care about you. I can attest to that um, personally. So, so not only are the teachers are the professors, instructors, they're flexible, and then again, the college as a whole is flexible, and it's incredibly affordable. Incredibly affordable, especially for our in-district residents. You know, we owe so much to this community. And um, they believe in education. And they support it with their tax dollars. We are never going to let them down, ever. So... The fact that they support it with their tax dollars allows us to um, give our students that live here in the county a very reasonable tuition rate. We haven't raised our tuition for five years. And the, the facilities that we have, the technology that we have. And so we realize that we have so much that we want to give back to them. We want to make sure they get every set work. So not only with a quality education, but we try to keep, our goal is to keep our in-district tuition as affordable as possible. And it's $95 a credit hour. It is one of the, if not the, lowest tuition, um, you know, fees in the state of Michigan. And our faculty have try to reduce the costs of textbooks. And so our faculty have also devoted their time to develop free, open educational resources and opportunities so students don't have to buy a book. Um, and that saves them so much money. I mean, our university partners are wonderful. Um, we have articulation agreements with several, I think 40, and uh, students can actually, in many cases, take a three, spend three years here at, at our tuition rate of a little, like close to $2,300. They can spend, we're at a college or university, it's about 13000 Okay, one year. Yeah. See no, the difference? It's, okay. Yeah, affordability. Yeah. So they absolutely. can stay here for those three years. And then our partners accept the trans the, the credits and they finish off their fourth year somewhere else. Some are two plus two, two here, two there, and some are three plus one. But again, it's that collaboration. The only way they would ever accept our credits is if we meet with their faculty and we meet with them and say, what do, you, what, what do you need? What do our students need to be successful to transfer to your university? It's all about collaboration. Yeah. And speaking of that, we have a really cool thing. That, well, we have a lot of cool things. It's with our historically black colleges and universities. We formed a partnership with them, articulations agreements with them, so that our students can, will be accepted into an historically black college and university. What else does Washington have for support services to help students? Well, we have an amazing advising and coaching model where um, our students have, have coaches, success coaches. And some people might think, well, who needs that? It's because we all need coach. You want to, if you want to perform well in athletics, you get a coach, right? Yeah. If you want to be great at whatever job you have, a lot of people hire coaches. We give you that coach. Or that support, yeah. like what you said. That support. Am, I, am I on the right path? Is this right? Yeah, and, and encouragement. Yeah. So to make sure that students are on the right track. 
But not only that, we also have a lot of financial support for our students. So we have uh, the Student Emergency Fund that we've created, um, which we've given over a million dollars of that. Um, you know, some of the students that come here have uh, challenges in maybe just meeting their financial needs. Uh, maybe their car breaks down and they can't just go out and get a new car. Well, maybe we can have that car fixed for them. Uh, maybe we've had students that needed a pair of glasses and they couldn't afford the glasses. We can get those glasses for you. Yeah. Um, we've had students that, you know, they're, especially during COVID, where their electricity was turned off. Well, we can help you. And this, by the way, is all private fundraising. And, and it's not like, oh, you just come over and we're going to help you. And here's your check. No. We sit down. We have a wonderful, wonderful woman, Sheena Barker, actually sits down with that student, figures out how we can help them with that one need, and then gets them the coaching that they need to help them pay their bills or find access to other areas that might support them. Well, tell me more about, um, so that's the financial support, but you guys also offer like scholarships. I know there's the WCC Foundation and other scholarships like the Divisional Scholarship or right. tell me. Right. I know you're very, I know you love the foundation. So tell me about that. I do. So what, what I just talked yeah. about was the foundation. Okay. That is the WCC foundation where we offer scholarships. We have scholarships, I think over $2 million, $2.3 million in scholarships for students. That's through our foundation. And that's all private funding? All private. Yes. What do you call someone who attended Washtenaw Community College? Employed. WCC's classrooms have sparked many engineering careers, like Aisha's. I ended up completing not only an undergraduate degree in aerospace engineering from the University of Michigan, but I was also accepted into the master's program and completed a master's in space systems engineering because of the strong foundation I received here at Washtenaw. Start on campus, online, or both, and prepare to launch. We're flexible, affordable, and focused on you. Aisha Bo, a graduate of WCC, and what I loved about what she talks about is that connection that we've already talked about with professors and saying it's almost like a private school that you're going to. Yes. But I'm sure she would have loved the STEM back in the day if it would have been here. But that just started back in 2018. Right. Our focus on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And again, um, of course, there's STEAM because, you know, a lot of you have to have the arts. Uh, you can't. All of those things intelligence, you know, in intelligence, you do need creativity. So those arts are very important for communication skills, but STEM. So STEM is advanced transportation. STEM is partnerships with the engineering departments at other colleges. STEM is the nursing program that we have, the Center for Nursing Excellence. By the way, the only community college at that time in the country. I mean, that's STEM. Um, and we have a STEM Scholars Program. And the STEM Scholars Program actually assists our students to have internships with the University of Michigan and other um, universities. And I believe three of our students actually had uh, either internships or work experience with NASA, which is amazing. Incredible, yeah. yeah. I mean, I would, if I were thinking about getting a degree in engineering or math or science or technology, I would start here. I, I really would because of the expertise that our, our faculty have and the connections that we have with these major universities, the connections that we have with our employers. Um, I would start here. We teach. We teach. And we focus on how a student can learn and where you're at. Washtenaw Community College is a STEM school component to science, technology, engineering, and math. Well, Dr. Blanca, thank you so much for joining us today on our first ever launch series with the Washtenaw Community College. It was an honor to sit down with you, and we look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you for joining us today. And thanks again to Dr. Balanca for joining us. I'm Christy King, and we will see you next time.